Let's talk very quickly about Southampton, the first victim of this Premier League season then, Lee. I, I think a lot of people really saw this coming. It was a turbulent season for them. The changes in manager, they just really couldn't get things right. It, it's, how devastating do you think the players are feeling right now, Lee? Oh, they'll be, they'll be distraught, won't they? I mean, um, fortunately, I haven't been to a sort of relegation, but, you know, you can only think of, of being and playing at the ultimate world's best league, and that's the Premier League, you know, and, and I think, you know, being relegated out of that uh, into the Championship, and I think, you know, the status of the club, the size of the club, um, you know, the history that probably goes behind it, um, it's got to be devastating. Some of them players, I don't think, will be there next season. You know, you have to look at the likes of James Ward-Prowse, who just jumps off the page at, at, at where he'll be or what he'll be doing next season. Um, you know, there's lots of players that's, that are there that could certainly be gone next season. And that's the worrying factor is that when you drop down and you slump into the championship, it's how you bounce back and, and doing it quickly is a must. Uh, we've seen Norwich do it time and time again, but this is a, a real, real blow for, for Southampton and then players will be distraught. Danny, you've been in their positions before. What, what are your first thoughts when that full-time whistle blows and you have to resign to your fate of being relegated. Mm, yeah, thank you for reminding me about oh, that. Apologies <laughs> for that. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, yeah, for me, um, having spent so long um, at Spurs, um, you know, suffering relegation was something I never thought that I'd ever have on my CV. And to have that for me, um, it's, you know, I'm. You know, I'm a bit embarrassed about that, and uh, you know, for, for, uh, I know what the lads will be going through. Um, you know, as as Lee said, you know, players like Prousey, uh, Kyle Walker, Peters. Um, you know, they'll obviously be moving on, and it's just been a strange season for Southampton. You know, I know they brought Nathan Jones in. They allowed him to bring some players in in January, and then you know, he, you know that he, he lost his job, you know, not long after that. And um, for me, I always enjoyed playing at Southampton. It was always a difficult ground uh, to play at, and um, it's just going to be a real shame that they're no longer, uh, well, for a season at least, they're not going to be part of the Premier League. Yeah, it's, it is disappointing because at the at the height of Southampton's. I guess, good days under Ralph Hasenhutl. They played some really exciting football, really. The, the, the kind of victories that they've had as well like with the, over the likes of Liverpool, even just a handful of seasons ago, Lee, because at the height of, of their success, they, they, they were such an exciting football side. Yeah, they were. They were, they were a side that sort of played on the edge, weren't they? Um, you know, you wouldn't ever think that Southampton would be mixed up in a relegation fight or battle even um, to think they've even, you know, they've been relegated today is a, is a sickening factor. But yeah, you know, we, we've seen many a times while they've been in the Premier League where they've really excited us. They've scored plenty of goals. Uh, as you said, Ralph Hassan, who, you know, did a brilliant job. There was even lots of talk about him leaving the club when they were doing so well. Um, and and that's I think that's the disappointing factor of all of this is that I think you know, watching Southampton this season, they've had, they've got quite a lot of young players in there, and uh, you know that that's that's the other, the factor of it all is that you know that you look at what they have as a squad of players there at this moment in time, and you know they were trying to build something, they were trying to create something, but unfortunately, you know, well, season was it, after was season, was it a project gone wrong because they went with the younger players? They didn't have anyone yeah, with experience. Well, yeah, well, you, we, uh, listen, they've got experienced players in there. You know, Danny will tell you the same. You know, you can't just say, you know, the, 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 ex, uh, the experienced players are, are not there. But they are experienced players that are in that squad of, of, of Southampton there. So they went down the youth route, route, which I think lots of clubs are trying to sample. Sometimes it works, sometimes it's not. I don't feel that the change in manager helps the situation because you've got Ralph that leaves the club. Then you've got Nathan Jones that comes in plays a different style of football, if you like, has to readjust, change his formation. You know, when, when you're chopping and changing managers like that, you know, it has to work immediately because if not, you find yourself in a predicament which Southampton have found themselves this season and it's been a real relegate. Well, it has been a relegation fight most of the season for them and they found it hard to get away from that. So I think the change of manager and not working 
it's certainly come up and, and it's clipped them and it's, it's bit them on the backside. 